All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna install the uh, Cobb CAN gateway. Uh, you're probably wondering what a uh, CAN gateway is. Uh, it's a new device that uh, Cobb came out with. Uh, I'll show you guys in a bit here. Uh, I guess, in the old days, um, to tune or control your, I guess, your engine or your engine management and stuff like that, uh, you have to basically hijack, or they say that you have to hijack one of the sensors or I guess give up one of the sensors because it's not meant to be tuned or yeah, I guess have aftermarket input uh, sensors. So the factory ECU has a set certain amount of sensors that they use that to make the car run just the way they want it. But to have more control or better control of your engine management and let's say transmission or fuel management in this case, you need extra sensors. And what the CAN bus does is allow you to add those sensors in without sacrificing uh, other sensor inputs from the factory uh, ECU. Um, it's more or less a cheaper version, or I guess if you can't afford a Moltec, which is like a standalone ECU, and for my ex example, for my situation, we don't have a Moltec dealer here in Edmonton and it is really hard to tune and it's a basically i guess tuned from scratch and uh, just way out of our league here um, so that's why the cob can gateway is the answer so that i can input other sensors into it without i guess uh, all the headaches so it just makes it a lot more simple all right so some of the older vehicles um or even the modern day vehicles today uh you literally um they're not meant to be like i guess tuned or have aftermarket sensors put in so that's why Cobb has developed their uh, can gateway so it basically doesn't hijack one of your sensors or existing inputs it allows you to add more inputs or sensors into it without sacrificing uh one of your existing ones um i'll put a link up up here uh explaining what the Cobb does themselves or what the CAN bus uh, really does. Um, if the way I'm explaining it doesn't really make any sense, so. All right guys, so this is the Cobb gateway. Very nicely uh, developed by them, nicely designed. Um, let's get this out of the way here. Billet aluminum, very, very sturdy. Very nice. The other thing I got from Cobb was uh, their wire, their wiring harness, which is uh, again nicely designed. A couple of stickers, and in that uh, wiring harness kit, it includes the uh, mounting bracket, and uh, we're gonna install that right away here. Pretty cool. It's all plug and play. There's no splicing and no uh, cutting or anything like that. All right, so two. To do this install, you have to remove the plastic shrouds here, and that's held on by uh, four push clips, one, two, three, four, sorry, and five underneath here, and it pops right off. And just move it to the side, because you'll need access to the um, brake, uh, I guess, area here. Uh, we're gonna mount the bracket here. And uh, same thing for this side. Same thing, I took the shroud off. Same thing, push uh, push clips. And then you'll get access to the uh, uh, windshield garnish here, whatever this is called. Same thing, push clips. And it just, and there's one right in here, pops right out. And then we have access to the battery. And then of course, 10 mil, and 10 mil to remove the anchors, pop the uh, battery out. So once you have all that, the, all the plastic shrouds out and access to the battery and then once the battery is out you will get access to the uh, power management unit here and once you get to the power management unit there's two it they say you you can uh, push these two tabs in and pull up but I found that you really don't need to actually take the whole unit out um, there's actually two more clips under here push in you can just kind of feel them, two push tabs, and then pull. And then just don't pull straight out. Lift up. 
And there you go. And now you have access to the power management unit. All right, so the next step after we uh, get the cover off the uh, power management uh, unit, um, there's a 10 millimeter bolt right here holding the AC line in. We have to replace that with the uh, four millimeter uh, Allen bolt uh, that is supplied in the kit there. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, so this is uh, the four millimeter uh, Allen bolt that they supplied for the kit. And that's gonna go in there to replace that 10 mil. All right, so the Allen bolt is in. Up next, we're gonna remove this push tab here, take that out and then mount the two brackets here. So next we're gonna install the bracket. Uh, the bolt, the Allen bolt that we just put in will go to this side and the, I guess the slotted or flat Allen bolt that they supplied will go onto the opposite side. So I guess that explains why the replacement Allen uh, bolt there is longer so that you can apply the uh, 10 millimeter uh, nut. All right, so now that we mounted the bracket, we're uh, ready to mount the um, wiring harness here that is supplied by Cobb uh, into the uh, power management uh, unit. This will go in first and then uh, the factory plug will go back into this one. So at the power management unit here, we're gonna unplug this cable right here. Here we go. And then we're gonna take this one and plug it in. And then take the factory one and plug it into this one here. Nice and snug. And it tells us to tuck all this in and down here. It's nice and snug. So basically just saying tuck it all into this and then put the cover back on. So now that it's all plugged in, next up is the uh, Unplugging the secondary air injector map here and then you want to plug it into this one and then the cob Wiring harness into the uh, secondary map just like that and then you plug the One supplied by cob into the factory up input That's it. for this side to the next step is to route the um, the wire harness underneath the windshield wiper shroud to the other side so that we can connect it to the uh, the can gateway um, try to tuck it as nice as you can you guys um, uh, there is a fuse on the uh, wire harness so in future use uh, I guess make it accessible if you need to well whatever. I just tucked it underneath, just like that. So once that is all screwed in, all done, wire harness is, uh, I guess, uh, installed now. All we have to do is plug it into the respective um, ports. Um, these are all keyed so you can't screw up or you can't plug it into a, a sensor port when it's supposed to go to the vehicle port Pretty cool. It's all done very simple once that is all installed uh, The can gateway is installed the wiring harness is installed uh, You want to put everything back in the reverse order uh, battery uh, Windshield shroud and all that plastic stuff. So that's pretty much it you guys. All right guys So that's pretty much for this week's install uh, that is basically just a supporting mod for all the flex fuel and the, uh, all the sensors that I will be installing in the next couple of weeks. Uh, so stay tuned for that, you guys. Really excited for the flex fuel kit. Also got it from Cobb. Um, do check them out, you guys. They do a fantastic uh, job at the, all their products and stuff. And 
that uh, CAN gateway, it's just an, I guess, brings your car to the next level. If you want to have like control over your uh, engine management and control your fuel system and in your vehicle, um, but without breaking the bank or having lots of headaches like a Moltec. Moltec is a fantastic product, but that's just next level stuff. That's professional. And this is just for street use. So Cobb is the, uh, the one to go for you guys. Do check them out. All right, guys. Uh, thanks again for joining me in this week's vlog. Stay tuned for the next few episodes. Um, we're going to go flex fuel. Uh, again, if you guys enjoy any of my vlogs and then find it useful, you guys, do uh, consider smashing that subscribe button, you guys. Turn on notification and share with all your friends. Um, GTRs or just cars in general. Um, we'll see you guys in the next week's vlog. See ya. Like, oh,